Zambia's economic uncertainty in line of the poor performance of the kwacha has attracted growing concern from all sectors of the economy. To address the fears, Finance Minister Alexander Chikwanda has revoked statutory instruments number 33 and 55 to allow for further consultations with stakeholders in its implementation. Addressing the media, Mr. Chikwanda was however not categorical whether the two SIs are the causes of the bad performance of the currency, but slapped the blame on cartels in the banking sector. You recall that the government put in place statutory instrument number 55 of 2013 and statutory instrument number 33 of 2012. These regulations were passed principally to support the implementation of monetary policy. However, challenges have arisen in the implementation of these instruments, see, that instrument. Mr. Chikwanda also said the poor performance of the currency does not imply poor economic status. The current depreciation of the currency does not necessarily imply a weakening of our economic fundamentals. The weakening in the white security is temporary and government will not be tempted into interventions that may just end up affecting our, our foreign reserves, that may end up reducing our, our foreign reserves to the already low levels that obtained. Experts from key industry players, the Economics Association of Zambia President Isaac Ngoma and the Zambia Chamber of Commerce and Industry President Geoffrey Sagulanda have welcomed the decision taken but have called for increased local production if the economic performance is to improve. That, uh, this control, uh, which directly impacts uh, the outlook uh, by the business community and the public at large on the stability of the economy will always make people take refuge in a stable currency. And the stable currency that people take refuge in when things don't go, are not going well. We need to diversify the economy, we need to enhance productivity in the various sectors, not just to depend on mining. He also mentioned clearly that if we focus also on a sector like agriculture, the public will have more time to see whether the new pronouncements will bring confidence on the Zambian economy. Late afternoon, just after the minister addressed the press, the local currency recorded the biggest gain in three months. Yeah, Alexander Musogotone, Mobi TV Business News in Lusaka.